Hello and welcome to my quick tutorial on supplies. My name is Dr. Klumber and I'm hoping to give you a bit of insight in how supplies work. As this is a quick tutorial I won't go into too much detail. What we have here, I've just clicked on F4 to open the supply areas map mode, is an overview of the supply situation for the United Kingdom. This is very relevant for the United Kingdom because as an island state they have to get their supplies across through the sea. Any open front that you fight in will need more supplies. Your troops use one and a half times as many supplies as they normally do when they are moving. When they are fighting they lose equipment and that needs replacing as well. And it all comes through the supply system. So supplies are important but how do you know where to look for supplies and how you actually get better supply. Well let's take this supply area here. It consists of three different states. The logistic factor, so the infrastructure, decides how quickly supplies can get somewhere and how much you can actually pr uh, put through. In this case, this is limited because Marsa Matru only has an infrastructure of three. We've already queued up two infrastructure to be built here, which means that this should go up and we can put more stuff through. There is also this naval base. This naval base here in Alexandria is a level 10 naval base. That means it's optimal for putting supplies through and receiving supplies from the capital which is London. And that gives us another boost to the supplies we can put through here. Overall that means that in this state we support 43 uh, supplies. This is important because that means that you can work out how big an army you can support here. It's not a direct one on one but I suggest that you play around with the number of troops you have somewhere and have a look at the supply base to see whether you have too many or not. It's also important to note that navies and air forces also take supplies. If you put your air force into action this supply count will go up. So at the moment you see it's air zero and if I actually I don't think it will work because I'm not at war. But if I put those planes in the air, we'll give it a bit. Then we can go back to the supply map mode and possibly... No, it's because I'm not at war you can't see that. Anyway, um, that explains quite a lot about supply so far. It's also an important aspect in combat planning. So, as the UK fighting Italy, it pays to take out this bit of Italy as quickly as possible. And the best way to do that is by taking out the ports. All the troops in this part of Italy get supplied through two ports. That means that if we take those ports as quickly as possible, these troops will suffer major attrition, lose organization and in general be very easy to beat. Right, that's the quick tutorial on supplies. If you have any questions about this, if you want me to do a longer one, please let me know. If this helped you even a little bit, then please like and subscribe, it would really help the channel out.